So, this right here is a six inch drone, and this right here is a five inch drone. The size difference is pretty massive. So, what gives? Why is this dank moth so dang big? First and foremost, of course, whenever you have prop guards, you're gonna increase the size of your drone just because there has to be a distance between the motors and of course the distance from the props to the prop guards to the actual flight stack. And of course, the most important thing about the dank moth is the battery actually slots into the frame, as you see this here. And so did the GoPro. And that was the whole theory behind this design, that a good center of gravity, by lowering all of those heavy parts, would cause the flight characteristics to be superb. You see, back in the old days, people stressed about the center of gravity a lot. However, once flight controllers, motors, batteries, everything caught up to spec, you didn't really need to worry about it so much because you had so much power and so much control, you didn't need to fret over this very difficult way to design drones for a good center of gravity. But that's actually what sparked this whole great adventure for me, is I don't care if I have enough power or if beta flight's good enough to correct those mistakes. What happens if you have all that power, all that awesome control from beta flight, and you have a good center of gravity? What's the result? And of course with the Dank Moth, I actually accomplished that. However, there was one glaring problem that I didn't see until it was too late. And that was, given the fact that I designed this for the GoPro 10, and yet here this tiny little five inch can carry the GoPro 10 like it's nothing, who the heck is gonna want a giant ass drone that only carries a GoPro 10? That's what I'm gonna solve today. So as you can see here, I strapped my Blackmagic Micro Cinema camera to the Dank Moth with a custom mount, and we're gonna see if this can step out of the little leagues and step up to the big leagues. Turn green, baby. 